In the last class, we were discussing about the receptors. Now ending 
tritium arborization. These are arborization of the nerves around the hair bone and also mesmerous purpose. These are the various types of receptors for general extraceptive sensation. For Special sensation, the receptors are for vision, rods and cones. Rods and cones, and these are modified dendrites. These are modified dendrites of modified dendrites of bipolar neuron present in retina. Road samples. For olfaction, the olfactory neurons which are modified neurons. For taste, the gustatory cells, which are modified epithelial cells, gustatory cells, the modified epithelial cells. And for hearing, The hair cells of organ of corti. Organ of corti. These are various types of receptors related to the special sensations. Now coming to the introceptive receptors. Introceptive sensation and their receptors. And the receptors are known as introceptors. Introceptors. They, these receptors are present in the wall of the viscera and the blood vessels. The examples are carotid body and carotid sinus. Carotid body is chemoreceptor. Chemoreceptor, carotid sinus is baroreceptor. This responds to change in carbon dioxide concentration. The carotid body response to change in carbon dioxide concentration and carotid sinus baroreceptor this is uh, this is related to the uh, change in blood pressure there will be stretching of the wall which uh, stimulates this type of receptors the third type the Third type of sensation, proprioception, and the receptors are proprioceptors. Proprioceptors. And proprioceptors, they are associated with the uh, locomotor system, and the receptors are. Neuromuscular spindle Neurotendinous organ of Golgi 
neurotendinous organ of Golgi. Deeply placed thesinian copper cell. part is the dermis. Dermis. This is the dermis. This is dermis. And this part is epidermis. And these are the projections of... Sorry. Sorry. This part is epidermis. And here lies the dermis. And these are projections of dermis. 
and the epigrammis. And these projections are known as the dermal papilla. In the dermal papilla, we get the mesmer's corpus. The mesmer corpus has got a capsule, and this capsule consists of fibers and cells. The cells are flat cells. Flat cells. Flat cells. These are the flat cells forming the capsule. Around this, we get elastic fibers. Elastic fibers forming the fibrous component of the capsule. And this also contains collagen fibers which lie in between the flattened cell. This whole part is capsule of the mesmer's corpus. In the center, the central core contains cells. And cells are derived from two sources. One is from the epidermis. And the other one is from the swan cell. The cells derived from the epidermis, they are disc shaped, located in the upper part these are the cells derived from the epidermis and these cells are disc shaped deep to it irregular cells are present irregular cells irregular cells and these cells are derived from the swan cells. This is the structure of the business copper cell. The capsule is formed by greatly flattened cells. The collagen fibers lying in between and at the periphery the elastic fibers. This hole is a capsule and the center there are cells and these cells, which are situated at the apical region, they are derived from the epidermis. This part is the epidermis. And these cells, irregular in shape, they are derived from the swan cells. Now, the nerve fiber, this is the nerve terminal, nerve ending. This enters into it and this forms a plexus around the cells. Plexus around the cell. This is the nerve fiber. Nerve fiber. This whole is the mesmer's cause. Now coming to the pacinian corpus. Pacinian corpuscles. Large pacinian corpuscles are visible by naked eye. They are oval in shape. They have three zones in the capsule. The capsule has got three zones. The outer zone contains flat cells, flat cells like this. These are the flat cells. The peripheral zone. The intermediate part 
contains multiplying signs and as the copper sun enlarges the cells multiply and they are incorporated into the peripheral part these are the multiplying cells multiplying cells multiplying cells now the central part contains the nerve terminal this is the nerve terminal nerve terminal its terminal end forms expands and forms a knob like structure knob like structure this is the appearance of the pisenian corpus the organ of rufini and n n bulb of probe they have almost similar structure the only difference being in the central core the nerve terminal they uh, instead of forming the knob it uh, forms a plexus it forms a plexus inside it branches and branches rebranches like this plexus now coming to the neuro tendinous organ of golgi neuro tendinous organ of golgi they are present at the junction of muscle and its tendons they are tension recorders the capsule of the golgi apparatus is formed by tendon cells which are separated or in between the cells flat cells there are collagen fibers and the capsule is pierced by heavily myelinated nerve fiber which arborizes around the cell Now coming to the neuromuscular spindle, the structure of neuromuscular spindle, neuromuscular spindle. This has got a capsule. the neuromuscular spindle it lies in the skeletal muscles in between the muscle fibers and there are modified muscle fibers present in the inside the uh, uh, capsule of the neuromuscular spindle and those fibers are known as intrafusal fibers intrafusal fibers intrafusal fibers this is one intrafusal fiber intrafusal fiber two types of intrafusal fibers are there nuclear back type nuclear back and the other one is known as nuclear chain nuclear back type and nuclear chain type two types of intrafusal fibers are there these are the two types of intrafusal fibers the central part is known as 
equatorial zone and the peripheral part, the polar region. The central part of the intrafusion fibers, equatorial region, known as the equatorial region, and ends the polar region. This part, the central part, the equatorial region and ends the polar region. Now, the muscles present in, uh, the nuclei present in these muscles, they connect together. Nuclei. These are the nuclei. They connect in the equatorial region and this part expands. It becomes barrier. All the nuclei present in the intrafusion fibers, they connect in the center and due to the Connection, the central part expands. In nuclear chain type, the nuclei they remain in a row in the equatorial equatorial region. Now these intrafusion fibers are supplied by nerve fibers. The nerve fibers Suppose this is a nerve fiber, mixed nerve, spinal nerve. This gives out sensory fibers and motor fibers. The sensory fibers, they go to the nuclear bag and nuclear chain type. And as they reach towards the interfacial fibers, they form spirals. This is the arrangement. They arrange spirally or they terminate spirally at the equatorial region. And this spiral arrangement also known as the primary fibers. These are sensory fibers. Sensory fibers distributed to the equatorial region. Equatorial region. The other mode of termination of these sensory fibers is known as secondary type of termination, also known as flower spray. Flower spray. Flower spray. This type of arrangement is known as flower spray arrangement. These are the sensory fibers. The intrafusion fibers supplied by sensory as well as motor. Fibers, the sensory fibers, the mode of termination, annulospiral, annulospiral, and the other one, flower spray. Annulospiral is primary type. And this is known as secondary. The annular spiral termination is present both in nuclear bag type of fiber and nuclear chain type of fibers. But flower spray type is found in the nuclear chain type of fiber. These are sensory fibers. Sensory fibers going to supply the 
in transfusion cycles. Now the nerves coming to the intrafusal fibers is mixed. Therefore, the sensory distributed to the equatorial region and the polar region, from the polar region in this part, in both. The motor fibers on both sides. Motor fibers. Motor fibers. They reach. This is motor fiber. Motor fiber. And these motor fibers are coming from the gamma cells present in the ventral horn of the spinal cord. The motor cells are gamma efferent fibers and sensory fibers they go to the spinal cord. These are sensory fibers distributed to the central or equatorial region and these are motor fibers distributed to the polar region. This is the structure of intrafusal fibers present in the neuromuscular spindle. They are uh, found in the skeletal muscles and they lie in between the skeletal muscle fibers. This is all for today. From next class we shall start with the spinal cord.